Personification is a language feature that compares a thing, idea or animal with human attributes. This is done to make them seem as if they have the capacity to act in a human manner. So personification can have a very big impact on reader because it can both grab the attention as well as give them emotional support to the concept that the writer is trying to portray. This is as when the writer is writing something and they're writing about an object or an animal. By giving the object or animal human features, the reader as a human is better able to understand or connect with what the writer is trying to say or the description because as humans, they can understand things better from a human perspective. So an example of this will be something like the building towered over everyone, almost kissing the sky. This is an example of personification as a building cannot literally kiss the sky. That is a personification of a building here because kissing is a human action. So therefore here a human action is being used to describe the building. Now let's move on to alliteration. So alliteration is when consecutive words or words that are close together start with the same letter. This is used to help grab the reader's attention for it makes points clearer and makes more memorable. So for example, both words in the sentence start with the same letters. For example, Adam ate. This makes these two words stand out in the entire sentence as they both start with the same letter. Therefore, alliteration is, has a very full, powerful effect in making points clearer and grabbing readers' attention as you are more likely to focus on that point of the text. Alliteration can also create rhythm mood, which can have particular connotations. For example, if there is a repeated S sound in alliteration, this can create like a hissing sound. So we often associate hissing sounds with stuff such as snakes. So this can actually make or make the text connote danger or perhaps snake-like qualities. Onomatopoeia also is concerned with how words sound. Onomatopoeia is when words either directly or very closely sound like the noises that they are describing. So examples would be bang, crash, whoosh. Onomatopoeia can make descriptions much more vivid and powerful. This is as you can physically hear the noises that are being described. So the reader can use their sense of hearing to actually help them greater understand what the writer is trying to portray. So this can aid the reader to really imagine and really understand what is going on in the text. I hope you found this video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing and sharing with your friends. If you have any questions, post it on our forum at examqa.com.